Damien here with Best Care. I'm here to describe how to troubleshoot your Style 1 electronics. So you can see here that we have everything kind of plugged into the system right now so we can run it. So you can kind of see how this would work when it was on your lift. The control box has the actuator plugged into it, the hand control. So when we hit the up button, you're going to see this motor go up and down, just as like it if it was on your patient lift and down. Now with the Style 1 electronics, you can see here that we have actuator plugged into one spot, hand control plugged into the spot right above it, and then right above that is the charging port that will actually charge the batteries. Style 1 electronics typically has an adapter that plugs in first, a charger that plugs into the wall, and then an end that plugs into the adapter to charge up the battery. This particular style of system requires you to plug the thing in whenever you're not using it. So that's the best advice I can give you to keep the battery charging. Keep it plugged in whenever you're not using it. When you plug it into the wall, you'll see at the very top here that all the lights will light up on the display, indicating that it's charging. So what happens if you went ahead and plugged this thing into the wall and the lights didn't show up? What could be wrong? Well, a couple of things. The adapter could be bad. If this is broken, you're not going to get power to charge it up. Another possibility could be the charger. And don't forget, if the emergency stop button is pressed in, the lift won't charge. Or last, the actual PCB inside of the unit could be bad. So the best way to isolate the problem is to first plug the charger directly into the port, see if the lights show up. If they don't, then you probably have a bad PCB in the unit. So that's just some recommendations on the charging of the system. So once we have all the system connected, charged up and ready to work, and you're ready to run the lift, and you hit the up button, and if nothing happens, what could be wrong? Well, the first thing to check would be the hand control. If you're pushing the up and down buttons, and the light at the top that, that shows when it's charging doesn't light up just like it did before when you had it plugged in, you don't see those lights come on, then the chances are you have a bad hand control. Now, if for some reason you replace the hand control and you go to do the same thing again and the lights don't show up, then more than likely what you have is a bad PCB on the unit. And I'll be showing you that here a little bit later. So, as we mentioned earlier, this system has to be plugged in to charge. If you're not plugging it in to charge it and keeping it charged, you're going to kill the batteries and need to replace them. The batteries are really quite easy to replace in the unit. You've got two tabs that are located on the control box that you can squeeze and just lift the cover off. And inside, you see the batteries. There are two individual battery cells that are wired together. These batteries are available from Best Care or your dealer, or sometimes they're available locally. The batteries are probably the number one reason the system fails. But it's very easy to have access to them. You can remove them really easily as well. So you can see, we can take these right out. You can also see when I have them out, you have a red wire and a black wire and then a white wire. Because the red wire connects to one side of the red terminal on the battery, the black wire connects to one side of the black terminal on the other battery, and the white wire connects to the red and black to complete the series. If I wanted access to the PCB on the system, I'd remove all the plugs, and I would remove the bolts here, and I could lift the cover off, and you would see the PCB resting right inside of the control box. So it's quite easy to remove it if you needed to replace it or exchange it. One of the most common things we find with this system is when you get the brand new unit, you put it all together, it's just right out of the box, and something isn't working, more than likely, the culprit is the actuator plug. When we plug the actuator into the unit, there's certainly times where it doesn't fit as easily as we'd like, so you want to make sure and push it in hard enough where you do not see any space between the rim on the actuator and the control box. Because if it's not plugged in all the way, your lift's not going to work. It's the most common reason a person complains about the lift not working out of the box. So check that actuator cable. So now you have a better understanding how to troubleshoot Style 1 electronics.